this <laughs> surprise this is Phalaenopsis no ID sorpresa which actually is a tresoro my treasure and she is pretty wouldn't you agree with me look at how pretty she is oh my goodness hi so we are seven weeks into the rehab of my Phalaenopsis sorpresa who was found by the dumpster in the roasting sun on the hot concrete because somebody didn't want her anymore and oh poor baby all i could see was gorgeousness somebody else's garbage ended up my tesoro but anyway i called her sorpresa meaning surprise because i never get that lucky to score an orchid by the dumpster <laughs> it was a first in all of my history while living here in southern spain but look at her do you remember what she looked like when she arrived i mean you know we've got a bit more color in her the sunburned leaves or whatever inflicted her there, it's all gone dry and crispy. I haven't cut anything off. And let me show you what I did when she arrived after introducing her to you is I put a line, I hope you can see that, I put a line where the leaf was within that leaf joint. So this line here was all the way down there. So that leaf that had been unceremoniously cut off in the middle here probably to take off the sunburn which i assume all this is has grown and look at her shiny new leaf so this is seven weeks the video aired on the 22nd i filmed it probably on the 21st or the 20th of august we are now let me think let me think <laughs> 15th of October? Not entirely sure, but thereabouts. And look, I can't tell you how amazed and thrilled I am that she has blessed me with her presence on my patio. She has been glam camping in bright shade, facing my white facade, along with everybody else that can still be outside, where I walk past her on the daily several times a day, keeping an eye out, you know, as you do with struggling orchids. Keep them in your line of vision. And since I got her, of course, that first video, I did a pest check and I gave her a good drink because oh my goodness <laughs> I think the pot had a temperature of 45 or 50 degrees in itself and those little roots were dying for some hydration which she glugged up within 12 hours <laughs> I filled the pot as you do calcium magnesium and seaweed to give her some recovery and then after an hour I drained the pot out and the next day she was dry so we did the whole thing again even though it was another repeat of calcium mag and seaweed i think it's always a good idea when an orchid is stressed the way this one was and thirsty is well hey pump in the good stuff and let her absorb what she can and can't handle the roots actually greened up really well and after that i worked with her on a wet dry cycle she is in chunky bark so wet dry cycle and it was like my goodness was she thirsty <laughs> she was a lush not so much anymore because we have found our mojo. Now the watering and soaking is a little bit more reduced. Obviously the temperatures have dropped as well and now they are dialed in in accordance to her active leaf growth. So what are we doing today? Today was a CalMag soak day and let me get her out. I've got my little company here who's trying too hard to vie for attention. So there you can see the progress of the growth that she had since I found her with that leaf chopped off. And I'm guessing this is possibly her second leaf. Oh, isn't this amazing? Yeah, she's developed really, really well. And look, the roots are okay. I mean, understandable. The top ones are a bit stressed. There's a little root number coming out right there in the middle of your screen. Excite cartwheels around the patio. And look, so we managed to save the other roots that were still viable and we are getting root tips. Oh, <laughs> we could actually put her into Lekka and self-watering about right round about now, but I'm not going to do that. 
little one has to adapt and grow a little bit more. I don't want to stress her out further. I want her to feel settled, comfortable, and safe. And look, we have happy sap. Ooh, she's a happy sap oozer, which I will be wiping off. So when it comes to rescuing Phalaenopsis, I think Suppressa is here to stay, unless <clears throat> Dum Dum here starts to mess things up, which I'm, you know, I never do intentionally. It's not like I do it on purpose, <laughs> but she's here to stay. And no, I will not be transitioning her this time around, even though all the signs are there for me to do that. Active root tips, new root tip growing. I will continue cultivating her in the wet dry cycle, incorporating a lot of flushing now as the temperatures cool down because for the last seven weeks, while she was so thirsty and desperate for some substance, which I provided her with fertilizer of 300 parts per million and pH at 7.5, CalMag and the fertilizer pH'd at 7.5 in separate soaks because that media looks a little bit tired and worse for wear. So with the soak, the pH will drop to the levels that I want her to absorb the nutrients. And I will continue to do that throughout the winter on a very, very reduced scale, but a lot more flushing just to make sure that any salt buildup around her roots doesn't create issues, including the acidic media. But look at her standing there all by herself, all independent and such. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? When I soaked her the first time, when she arrived on my patio, she literally tried to float out of the mask. That's how light she was and I couldn't even keep her standing on a table because she was just so light, weak, and poorly. <laughs> now, wiping down the happy sap is because I don't want to bring on any pests that so far this orchid hasn't suffered. In the meantime, she has had another garlic alcohol paint job, <laughs> and the garlic alcohol is there to repel any kind of pests that might want to attack the weak orchid. So keep that in mind when you're trying to rescue an orchid. The weak ones are usually the targets for pests, and even though you've done everything correctly, well, the pests are going to come and do a number on your weak orchids, and then you think you've done something wrong. But in actual fact, it was the pests that had their way with them. So garlic alcohol paint job. And I also did, because of the thrips and mites issues that I had this season, I also gave her an insecticidal soap spray. So she is very dusty looking right now. I suppose I could have wiped the leaves before I showed her to you. But, you know, full transparency here. This is what she looks like now. And that happy sap is going to come off. I will do that off camera. And make sure that if with Phalaenopsis you are wiping off happy sap, not only for pest prevention, at least you know your Phalaenopsis is now hydrating at optimal level, meaning she's taking in nutrients efficiently, meaning she's over the worst of anything that you had to deal with right at the beginning. And everything from here on in can only get better with a little bit more vigilance, not getting complacent, but everything is looking hunky-dory. So make sure that when you wipe the underside of your phalaenopsis that you do that during the day and not heading into dusk because it's at that time that the phalaenopsis will open their stomata to breathe in the beautiful night Air. And we don't want to be clogging up any stomata. But yeah, I thought, why not sit down on my patio and have King poking my hip because he wants his lovings <laughs> and show you my suppressor. Ah, I am so happy. You're probably wondering what on earth, you know, this orchid, you know, the ugly duckling. But guess what? Guess what? The ugly duckling, what it turned into a beautiful swan. This orchid is really, really close to my heart now, not just because she is a rescue and I am a champion of the underdog, but because her scraggly state reminds me so much of the orchids in my trees in Kenya who had to deal with hot sun, etc., exposed to the elements. And while they grew and bloomed, they weren't pretty, but they were pretty to me, just like Suppressa is. Anyway, long story short, seven weeks later and here we are. <laughs> if you have any questions, if I went off on a tangent and didn't circle back on a thought, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Have yourself a beautiful day. One condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care.
Bye. Oh, just one more thing. If you're still here, that is. What color do you think this orchid is? Can you make an educated guess? I have a certain idea as to what color she could be, but I wanted to hear your opinion. So if you think you know, let me know in the comments. I will take notes. And when she blooms, if she blooms, if we get to that point, then we shall revisit those names and your predictions. Just to raise the anticipation, you know? Why not? Anyway, see ya. Bye.